just got done reading that story and there was a really important word in there. If we don't know this word, this, the rest of all of the things that we're going to be doing with this unit are going to be really kind of hard to understand. So it's so important that we need to get out our, our books and look at our vocabulary book. So we get your book out, your vocabulary book out, open up to your next clean page on there, and let's take a look at that graphic organizer and get it filled out. Okay? So let's write automatic. In that circle where it says word. And tell me again, what was that definition that what was a definition that we could come up with for automatic? Okay. Thank you, Scott. Something that does something by itself. Thank you. definition box right there. So if you'll go ahead and do that right now. All right, give me two claps if you're ready to go. Okay, take a look up here. I came up with some pictures of some things that were automatic. What's automatic? Can you think of an example of something that's automatic? Go ahead, Emmy. A dishwasher? A dishwasher. And why is that automatic? you don't have to do anything. Okay. What's another dial? A dryer. Okay. Because? If you don't have to dry it, you don't have to leave it out in the sun. Okay. You just have to put your clothes in it if it's wet. Okay. A washer? A washer. What kind of washer? A clothes washer. A clothes washer. Tell us about that. You just put the clothes in there and you press like some buttons and it will just start. Okay. okay, so let's take a look. Thumbs up if it's automatic, thumbs down if it's not automatic. Okay? Okay, here's some pictures that I found. And I'm going to point to something and you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if it's automatic. Screwdriver. Okay, how about a hammer? How about an airplane? How about a clock radio? How about a fan? How about a juicer? This makes juice. Okay. And how about a saw? That we have checked for understanding, and I, I think that you're doing pretty good on that, you know, what's automatic and what's not. What do you think is the most important part of our definition here? What's the most important part? Natasha, what do you think is the most important part of this? Um, just something by itself. There you go. It does something by itself. It has to do something by itself. That's the most important part of our definition there. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay. So, do you have an idea of something that you could draw a picture of now? Let's go to our graphic organizer. Draw a picture of something that is automatic. What could be a picture that we could do for automatic? What are you drawing? What are you drawing? What are you drawing? What are you drawing? You're drawing an airplane. Okay. Why are you drawing an airplane? Because it goes. Remember what's the important part? It goes by itself. Good job. Okay. And what are you drawing? A saw. A saw. Now, what part of our tools? Where's your definition? What is the most important part of our definition? Something that 
works by itself. There it is. So let's write down works by itself. So does a saw work by itself? No. Not that kind. What kind of saw works by itself? A chainsaw. There we go. Chainsaw. So don't erase this. Just put a slash through it because that's a not example, right? Okay, and then draw a chainsaw. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're a good drawer. We just got done reading a story about electricity and the Van de Graaff machine. And one of the really important words that was in that one was the word automatic. So I'm gonna write automatic right here. Automatic. And when you heard the word automatic, what do you think that meant? Thank you, Gabriel. Something that is automatic. Something that is automatic. Something that works by itself. Oh, I like that. Something that works by itself. Okay? Like a dryer? Like a dryer. Explain that. Because it dries clothes and you don't have to do it. Okay. If we didn't have a dryer, what would we do we instead? We have to um, hang it up and and these thingies, and then you and the hour uh, and the sun, and then it will dry it by itself. Okay. Okay. Yes. You have to if the clothes are wet and you don't have a dryer, you have to put it on a the clothes line up outside. Okay. Uh, dishwasher. Okay. Tell us about a dishwasher. You just put like your um your plates and cups in it, and it will like um kind of like steam it. And do you have to do anything by your? Does it do it by itself, or do you have to do anything? Everybody here has some great pictures of things that are automatic. Now I want you to take that word automatic and put it in a sentence. I want you to try and put that in a sentence. Okay? So how can you use that word automatic in a sentence? Okay? Got an idea? How you might use that word automatic in a sentence. And we'll share those sentences out here in just a little bit. Stunt. Stunt. How can you use one when I can see this? Okay, how about like this? Mm -hmm. Give me one of these. Okay. A blank is automatic because. Could you use that now? important part about our definition. What's the most important part about our definition? That it 